This is a full video tutorial of how to get this Hey Google with ChatGPT project working. Uh, I have nothing installed besides Tasker, so I'm going to do what I'm going to do is going to this link here, which is in this in the video description of the original video, and it tells me how to use this project. So first off, I have to install Auto Input and after it, that's done, open it and get full version so that you can use it completely. To do that, you have to install this unlock key, which is called Auto Apps. Open it and YouTube. I've already uh, purchased the YouTube, uh, the Auto Input app, so it's already unlocked. So going back to the, the project. Um, that's the first step. The second step is to insert, to import this Hey Google command intercept project. Okay, let's do that. You have to read all of this so you know how to use it. But basically, when you import it, it'll, it'll ask you how, do you how you want to use it. And then you'll be able to um, intercept Hey Google commands and send them into Tasker so you can do whatever you want with them. So you import this, you accept it, you enable the projects, and then that's this part is very important. You have you have to enable this. Uh, you have to run this setup task. I want uh, the command intercept to completely for let's start with completely by re completely replacing the um hey, the hey Google commands so every single command will be sent to tasker and i want to do it even before google starts listening just to start out then we can run the other the, the other modes so you can see how it works then it, it'll explain you how to use it you can read all of this so you know how to use it. This is the important part that this variable is set whenever a command is uh, correctly recognized. So let's start. Let's try that. Uh, first, I have to enable the Hey Google part on my phone. So to do that, I go into this my my account settings. And here, Google Assistant, hey Google Voice and Match, and enable. That part, that part is working. So now, I have one final thing I have to in, to. So now I have one final thing I have to enable, which is Auto Inputs Accessibility Service. That when I install it, it says that it's not enabled. So I need to enable it. Then after I, this is enabled, it should start working. Let's test it out. Hey Google. And as you as you seen, and as you saw, uh, the Hey Google prompt is discarded right away, and instead the tasker input, uh, voice input dialog comes up. And then whatever you say with to that will be set as a tasker variable. You can see here, there's nothing set uh, set to this yet because I didn't finish the command. But let's try it out. Hey Google, this this is a test command. As you see, the variable is now correctly set. Okay, so this is the first part. You're now intercepting the commands and setting them in Tasker. Okay, so on to the next part. Now I need to import the next project here, which is the ChatGPT project. You can read all of the description so you know exactly how it works. But basically, you import it. Select yes. Then you select the assistant personality, anything you want. And then you use your API key, which I already have here. This is a test API key that I'll delete after this video. 
And I don't want to enable the profiles because if you read the description back here, it's just a test profile for WhatsApp, so I don't need that. I'll, I'm go not going to, going to enable it. But I do want always to run the, chat, the setup test that it asks me to run, so run that. I don't want to try the WhatsApp bot, no. Nope. And it just tells me how to add widgets on the home screen to easily call the ChatGPT tasks. So that's done. Going back to the original. Oh, just to show you, in Tasker, now there's another project, which is this ChatGPT one. It has all these tasks and the simple chatbot profile that I didn't want to enable. Let's go back to this. And now import the other project. So this project allows you to have a conversation with ChatGPT. And this project right here allows you to call Tasker tasks with ChatGPT. So you have to read all of this again. But basically, you just import it. Enter your ChatGPT API key again, because this is a different project, so it'll also need it. You want to enable all the profiles in this one. And then you just run the function setup again, the setup task again. Yes, it's very important to always run the setup tasks. So in this in this page, you'll see all of the all of your tasks, all of your tasker tasks. And you can run this you can use descriptions for each one of them. But in this case, I haven't I don't have any of my own tasker tasks here, so I can either import the ones mentioned here, which is probably the best thing that you can do. So import the example tasks. Import them. And then you always run the setup task. And now if you go back to Tasker and the task caller uh, and the task caller project run these the function setup again, which is this task. You get all of the example tasks already filled in. So we can try this one, for example, get battery level. But first, let me see if there's nothing else I need to do. I need to go back. Oh, sorry. I need to. OK, so finally, I have to import this profile as well, this project as well. So this pro this project simply takes that variable with the last Google Assistant command and sends it to ChatGPT to one of these the other two projects that we imported before. So again, import this, enable it, and you're done. Now, whenever you say command, it should send that should send it to ChatGPT. Let's try it out. We can try out that uh, battery one. If you go back here, to the chat GPT task caller project, you have the function set up so you can confirm that there's a, a task con uh, con that is a task uh, configured here to get your phone's battery level. So back out of Tasker, and now simply say, "Hey Google, what's my phone's battery level?" As you can see, your phone's battery level is currently at 32%. As you can see, it called the task right away. Um, so now you can create your own tasks. You can call out any of the example tasks here. And but you can create your own tasks. So let's create one of our own tasks. Let's uh, do it, create a task called what can I do? Um, 
a task that, that simply shows on the screen, uh, it works. So let's call the task it works and add an action alert flash it works so this simply shows this on the screen it works cool um, use the tasker layout so you can add a title to it this is from tasker So this is how it will show up. And now you go back to the function setup task and run it and search here for it works and simply write something like this is a task that shows that shows the text it works on the screen. Back out of Tasker all the way, and now you can say, hey Google, show the text it works on my screen. And it showed it correctly showed the flash action we created, so you can see that it works. So now you can run any task you want by simply telling it, uh, saying it to Google Assistant. As I mentioned before, you have a few options on how to use Google Assistant. You can intercept it right before it. You can even say the command to Google Assistant, and in this case, it works like I showed you. But in this, hey Google. Uh, Oh, sorry. <laughs> in this uh, project here, you can set it up in different ways. If you run this, if you run this, you can set it to completely re uh, replace Google Assistant, but you can make it only after you send the command to Google. So if you do that, it'll give you some instructions, and then it'll ask you to say hello world out loud so that uh, Tasker can automatically find where the command is so it can be intercepted and sent to Tasker. So if you do this and say Now you're speaking my language. It starts finding the command element and it correctly finds the element which has this ID. After this is done you can now back out of Tasker again and say, hey Google, show text on the screen saying it works. Here are some results from the web. As you saw, the command was sent to Google and then Tasker intercepted it and then it, um, it, correctly, sh uh, cor it correctly ran the task. This, this way has the advantage that you can say the command right away and don't have to ha uh, wait for the tasker voice input pop-up to show up. You can also make it work in a way that you have to say something else before your command. So if I um, configure this to require a keyword, and then you have to set a keyword. If you set that keyword to tasker, for example, tasker, then only commands that start with tasker will be sent to tasker. So again, if I go back and say, hey Google, Tasker, show some text on the screen saying that it works. Here are some results from the web. And it called the task. But I had to start the command with Tasker because if I say, hey Google, show text on the screen saying it works.
Here are some results. Notice that I didn't start the command with tasker, so it didn't intercept the command and it only showed the results on the screen. So this way you can make it always uh, only you can make it only run the tasker com tasks if you want it to. There's still yet another trick that you can use that even if you, if you configure this the initial way of completely but then after if you use it this way it'll intercept all the commands but there's a trick that if you say hey Google, assistant show some text on the screen saying it works These are the top results. It didn't run the task because I started my command with the word assistant. So you can bypass the command being sent to tasker by saying assistant. And if I, again, if I say, hey Google, show some text on the screen saying that it works. Here are some results from a search. Now it'll correctly call the task again because you didn't say the word assistant. So this is the gist of it. You can look at all the examples in this tab in this project here. You can call all of them. You can create your own tasks as I showed you. But basically, just to summarize it, this project will intercept your Google search, your Google searches. And we'll set this variable here. And then this project that you imported last will take that variable and send it to one of these projects, ChatGPT Task Caller or ChatGPT. Oh, I didn't show you the ChatGPT one, but we've been using this one. But I can show you this ChatGPT one, which is if you want to have a conversation about something instead of uh, calling a tasker task with ChatGPT, you can say, Hey Google, chat about my day. I'd love to talk to you. How's your... I'd be happy to hear about your day. What would you like to share? I'm doing a video for YouTube. That sounds exciting. What is your video going to be about? You can, I can stop right here. I just wanted to show you that you can have a conversation if you start your commands with chat. So I think that's all. I got it working. You simply have to install auto input, unlock it, import these projects, and make sure everything's configured. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.